the horizontal condyler guidance has to be set at 30 on each side the lateral condyler guidance also has to be 30 on both the sides now here we have the incisal rod make sure the thickest line is flushing with the upper member of the articulator then coming to the incisal guide table it has two parameters first we are going to adjust the lateral wings at the bottom you find two knobs for adjustment one knob is to move the entire incisal table anterior posterior make sure that the incisal pin is in line with the central bar then if we loosen the second knob we'll be able to change the anterior posterior inclination of the incisal table it also has to be kept zero 